He's 89, and he probably has watched as many innings of Cardinal baseball this season as anybody in our town. And oh, by the way, Whitey Herzog is a Hall of Famer and the smartest baseball guy I know. So that is why Whitey is tonight's Cardinal Buick Sunday Conversation. You shocked by what you've seen from the Cardinals? No, I thought they underachieved all year. I thought they had a good lineup. Um, you know, I, I want to go back a little bit. Nobody ever mentions what we did in Kansas City in 1977. Mock, who's managing Minnesota, said nobody is good enough to pull away on August 30th. So I took that headline out of the paper in Kansas City and I put it above where I posted the lineup every day. We won 24 out of 25 and we won the division by seven games. To reiterate this, you are not surprised at all by the Cardinals being in the position they're in. I, I just thought the Cardinals would be the team that would win the wild card way when they were 12 games out of first. Wow. And they were two games over 500, which they were about 50 times. And all of a sudden, now look, they could score runs in the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning, a strange situation, blue pits, missed uh, tags, I mean, and everything. I went through that. I'll tell you, when you get on a streak like that, you manage everything you do turns out right. And all of a sudden, it ends, you know. But I like the Cardinal team. I, I, I like their defense. I like everything about it. What do you think Mike Schilt does best? You know, I, I know he's very positive. I believe in these guys. I know this and that. You know, sometimes when you manage there, maybe he does it privately and don't make it public. But he's done a, he's done a real good job of managing a ball club. The breakout season is Tyler O'Neill's. What do you see when you watch him this season? Well, when you look at O'Neill, and I guess you'd have to say patience paid off. That what I see about him, I love him. He keeps his mouth shut, he hustles, he plays good. He's probably the fastest guy on the club. I don't know who'd won a 60-yard dash between him and Bader, but I wouldn't bet against O'Neill. So the Cardinals acquired Jay Happ, and John Lester, two guys, late 30s, and they had not gotten anybody out. Why are they getting people out in a Cardinal uniform? Well, it just shows maybe the National League is a lot weaker than the American League. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, Hap had a 7.8 ERA at Minnesota. So for the Cardinals to win a wild card game and make a run in the postseason, what has to happen? Well, they probably got to acquire Sandy Koufax. <laughs> But, you know, it's one game, and anything can happen in one game. If I'm a betting man, and I put some money on the Cardinals to win the division this year, but next year I think I'd put some money on the Cardinals to win the National League pennant.